One afternoon, one man was driving along a highway in the Sverdlovsk region in Russia. He stopped in a deserted place to go to the toilet and walked deeper into the forest. Suddenly he saw the corpse of a young woman, which was lying abandoned on the ground. The man called the police. The dead woman was difficult to identify as the body was significantly decomposed. It was clear that she had been killed several weeks ago, but not a single woman of similar appearance was listed as missing in that region. So, who was she? Her body was found on April 16, 2021. It was only two weeks later that the police established her identity. It was 28-year-old Kristina Zhuravlova. She was an Instagram blogger and SMM manager originally from Yekaterinburg, a Russian city. Investigators estimate that she died in early April, but no one looked for her for almost the entire month. It turned out that Kristina lived with her beloved husband, but for some reason he did not search for her. Christina also had an Instagram blog with almost 60,000 subscribers. She was not a social media star, but this blog brought her some income. Instagram was her job, her passion, and probably her whole life. Advertisements for famous brands have often appeared in her posts. In her last post, the girl advertised a spring coat. In other recent images, she announced cosmetics and household products. Her Instagram was a cozy page with beautiful pictures and videos. Christina loved to create beauty with her own hands. She photographed desserts, flowers, fashionable looks, and beautiful interiors. She had a special love for flat lay. This is a flat image of a composition of little things, carefully selected, laid out on a flat surface, and fitting into a square, which is taken from above at an angle of 90 degrees relative to the object. Christina was a real professional in creating such pictures. She managed several Instagram profiles for other brands and taught her own online courses on creating flat lay. Here is what she wrote on her website. Hi, I'm Christina. If you are here, you are already familiar with my Instagram profile. I developed my lifestyle account from scratch, combining cool photo ideas and a bomb flat lay. I know everything about processing, creating a layout so the brand returns to you, and trends on Instagram 2020. I want to share all the accumulated knowledge and experience with you. She sold her information products and individual consultations. Looking at her Instagram photos, she seemed to have a perfect life. She went to fancy restaurants and expensive stores. Christina wore costly brands. For example, she had a Yves Saint Laurent bag, which can cost about two, three thousand dollars. Many other expensive brands also appeared on her page. She loved celebrating Christmas, often taking pictures with her two beloved dogs and her husband. Judging by the pictures, she had no problems in her life. It's simply incredible that her life, which seemed so carefree on Instagram, could end so tragically in reality. Christina lived with her husband, Dmitri, and often talked about her great love for him on Instagram. They were married six years before Christina's death. Here is what the girl wrote about her feelings for him. Words cannot describe what is between us. It is more than tenderness and care. It is love. It is all-consuming. It is in every cell, in every look, and in every thought. You are my soulmate. 
Indeed, Christina had many photos on her blog of them kissing, hugging, and confessing their love to each other. They loved to spend time on picnic in nature, go to the skating rink together, and walk around the autumn city. The couple did not have children, but they had two lovely dogs, with whom they often went for walks. This couple's relationship seemed very touching. They had a beautiful wedding, where Christina wore a white dress and Dmitri wore a stylish suit. It was so romantic. Here is what she wrote about their relationship on her blog. So many people tell us that we are similar. I used to be surprised by this, but now I understand that this is probably how it should be because we are each other's halves of one whole. She also noted that she and her husband were very different. He was calm, reasonable, and patient. She was very emotional, active, and explosive. Despite their temperament differences, they complemented each other and spent almost all their time together. They had no close friends and they hardly communicated with relatives. Their lives were very private, so it's hard to say what their relationship was really like outside of the internet. However, judging by Instagram, their life was a real fairy tale about love. Their story began as a beautiful romantic tale of love. This is how Christina described the day they met. And here it is, that day that turned our life upside down. We are traveling with our things. Dimka is taking me, and I think, why doesn't he invite me anywhere? I didn't know then how modest he was with me. He replied that he really wanted to invite, but he did not dare. As a result, a movie and several hours of chatting about each other near the apartment door. Like the fool, I was flirting and he looked at me and smiled. Judging by this post, Dmitri was very indecisive. He could not even ask a girl out on a date, so she had to take the first step herself. Could such a guy really cause any harm to his beloved woman? It is so hard to believe. One day Christina blogged about how they celebrated Dmitri's birthday. Here is how she described this day. Today I spent the whole day preparing for his birthday, and he walked around the store with me, turned away so as not to see anything. It was a surprise. And then he stopped and said these magic three words that just stopped everything around. I love you. Say these warmest words to each other more often. The love story of this couple seemed magical, at least that's what you can judge by looking at Christina's Instagram. But actually, this girl lived in her illusions and wishful thinking. She loved to create beauty around herself and show only the best. But in reality, her life wasn't at all as wonderful as the pictures on Instagram. The couple had severe financial problems from the beginning of their relationship relationship. Christina had a teacher's diploma, but did not want to work in this specialty. She dreamed of becoming a prominent Instagram blogger. So she invested a lot of effort and time into developing her blog. She spent a lot of money on a professional photographer and props for filming. She had a dream and went towards this goal as best she could. As for Dmitri, he had no goals in life. He did not officially work anywhere. It is not known whether he had any profession. According to relatives, he worked for some time as a laborer at the university. Then he worked as a taxi driver. But he got into a road accident one day. His car was seriously damaged and the couple had to take out a loan to pay for repairs. The spouses lived in a tiny house in the suburbs of Yekaterinburg. Christina called their home a cozy nest. 
Indeed, in their Instagram photos, this house seemed like a beautiful place. But in fact, from the outside, it seemed like some kind of shack. Externally, this tiny house looks very modest and small. Their financial situation was difficult because they lived beyond their means and spent more than they earned. Christina wanted to create beautiful pictures and imagine a wonderful, carefree life. Thus, the couple accumulated loans from 19 different banks for several thousand dollars. They even had to turn to Dmitry's mother for financial help. They behaved like kids and did not know how to manage money money at all. Instagram required new investments. Promoting a profile is a very expensive business. Christina constantly participated in giveaways and brought advertising from bloggers. Dmitry supported her in everything. He helped take photographs and participated in the filming himself. For example, he jumped on the bed with his wife and competed in cart races at the grocery store for new pictures on Instagram. Instagram. It seemed so funny for them, but he did not seem to enjoy it at all. He had no other job, so he was forced to support his wife's ideas. Dmitry seemed like a quiet and calm guy, but no one knew what was going on in his head. Neighbors never saw the couple quarreling or causing a scandal. However, Dmitry seemed to them a gloomy and unsociable person. Indeed, due to the difference in temperament, their relationship in the couple began to deteriorate. Christina sought to make her dream come true, and Dmitry was like a prop for her filming. Lately, fewer and fewer photos of the couple together have appeared on Christina's Instagram. Dmitry did not earn money, and Christina had to bear everything for herself. Because of this, scandals arose in the family, and they increasingly thought about breaking up. Behind the beautiful pictures and touching confessions on Instagram were hidden big financial and family problems. They accumulated massive debts, and Christina even declared herself bankrupt. But no matter what, the girl continued to live her illusory sweet life. On Instagram, she always smiled and wrote only about good things. Imagining the many problems and pain behind these cute pictures is difficult. When Christina unexpectedly disappeared in April 2021, no one contacted the police for a long time. Her only relative was her elderly mother, who was seriously ill. When mom called Christina's husband, he said her daughter had left and asked not to look for her. Christina's followers and her work partners were concerned about the girl's disappearance, but no one reported her missing. The girl had almost 60,000 subscribers on Instagram, but in real life it turned out that she had no friends at all because no one cared where she was or what happened to her. If Christina's body had not been found by chance in the forest, then perhaps her murder would never have been solved. After examining Christina's body, investigators found out that she had been strangled. Her death was not accidental, it was murder. Her husband, Dmitry, was the first to come under suspicion, but the relatives could not believe he could do this because he loved his wife so much. Nevertheless, during interrogation, Dmitry confessed to the murder. He said that he strangled his wife in a fit of anger. According to him, Christina has been constantly causing scandals lately and humiliating him. During one of these quarrels, Dmitry could not stand it. He attacked her and accidentally strangled her. The woman's body lay in the house for four days. When the body began to decompose and give off a terrible smell, Dmitry decided to get rid of it. He did not even think about confessing everything and calling the police. 
He had no intention of burying the body of his once beloved wife with honors. He decided to dispose of his wife's corpse as unnecessary garbage. So he rented a car and took the body into the forest. There he simply threw the body on the ground. He did not worry about hiding it securely, but threw it in the forest in the hope that no one would find the body. He told his relatives that Christina had gone somewhere and she asked him not to look for her. Judging by his rash actions, Dmitri really did not intend to kill his wife, and it all happened by accident. But the way he got rid of the body is so terrible. How could he throw away, like garbage, the body of a woman who had been his wife for many years, whom he loved and appreciated before? This is unthinkable. During the trial, Dmitri blamed his wife for everything. He said that she humiliated him, constantly scandalized him, and thereby drove him to murder. According to psychologists, Dmitri could feel unfulfilled and unsuccessful next to Christina, who had a dream. Also, his wife blamed him for not earning money. Because of this, his anger built up. And since he was a quiet man, who rarely expressed emotions, one day he was torn by rage and committed murder. It is also possible that he could have used illegal substances, which is why he acted so irrationally. By court decision, Dmitri was sentenced to eight years in prison. Do you think this is fair? Remember that the couple had two lovely dogs, Happy and Brownie. At first, no one needed them. They lived in a house and sometimes neighbors came to feed them. Then the dogs found a new home. They were taken in by subscribers of Christina's blog, who were not indifferent to the fate of these pets. Luckily, the dogs are okay now. Christina's blog on Instagram is still open. Subscribers sometimes visit her page and leave touching comments. Christina knew how to create beauty and was talented in flat lace. But it is so sad that her beautiful Instagram life was fake. Her cozy house was just a place for filming. Her outward well-being hid huge debts, and her beloved husband turned out to be a murderer. This girl dreamed of living happily in her house with her husband and beloved dogs, but she could not create a happy life in reality, so she created the illusion of happiness on Instagram. She could not cope with problems in life, build healthy relationships and manage her finances. She lived for a long time with a man she no longer loved, but continued to create the illusion of happiness with him for beautiful photographs. And this fake life led to a sad result. It's all for today. Remember that evil is near. And thanks for watching.